Do you know what a flash mob is? It was something that I was not really familiar with until the last couple of years, I guess. If you go on YouTube after you watch this video, of course, and just put flash mob in that little search area, you'll come up with some really interesting things to look at. I did it yesterday when I was looking to see some of the flash mob things on YouTube, and you'll find a couple of different kinds right there in the first few that come up. One kind of flash mob is a group that does something like a dance together. The other kind it, that I saw were people who all would be in a public place and all of a sudden freeze, stand still. Well, flash mobs, I think, probably usually come together through some kind of social media. Somebody puts it on their Facebook page or someone Twitters it or something and lets other people know that they're going to meet in a certain place and do a certain thing at a certain time. And then they all either break into dance together or, as I say, freeze, like in the lanes of a grocery store or something like that. The point, of course, is to see how those who are watching react to what happens, because the bystanders don't know anything like this is going to happen. And it's kind of funny to watch the way they react in surprise or maybe even fear, or sometimes they try to walk by as if nothing is happening. Well, I was reminded of a flash mob the other day at my dining room table. Now, you may wonder how that happened. We were gathered, my whole family was gathered around the table, including our three grandchildren. We have a four-and-a-half-year-old, an almost three-year-old, and a one-and-a-half-year-old. And so as we began to eat, I said to the two older grandchildren, whose turn is it to decide what we're going to say for a prayer? And immediately they both began singing the Johnny Appleseed prayer and all of the adults around the table joined in. What made me think of a flash mob is our one and a half year old grandson. Now he knows about praying before we eat, but I don't think he had ever heard the Johnny Appleseed prayer before. And the look on his face was exactly like the look on the faces of people who find themselves suddenly in the midst of a flash mob. He just looked around the table like, what is happening and how do all of you know what to do all at one time? His reaction to what we did as a kind of worship before we ate reminded me of what it's like for a lot of people who are new to worship when we all of a sudden become kind of a flash mob in worship. All of a sudden the organist plays one note and we kind of leap to our feet and all begin singing the same song or we all bow our heads and begin saying the same prayer all of a sudden. To a person who either has never been in Christian worship before or who hasn't been there for a long time, it must seem like we are a flash mob in worship. It's kind of like there's a little secret that we all know and this person who is visiting for the first or second time doesn't have any idea what we are doing. So I guess as we go into the Thanksgiving and Christmas season, when you probably will have people who have not been in worship for a while, who might be kind of visiting at your church, although nobody is actually there to visit you when they come to worship, they are there to worship God, but people who are new to the way that we do worship may be in your sanctuary over the next few weeks. Remember that to them it may seem kind of odd when we all start doing the same thing all at the same time. And see if there are ways that you could either give verbal clues or clues in your printed bulletin, if you have one, to help them not feel like such an outsider when we are all there to worship God and to give glory to Jesus and to be inspired by the Holy Spirit together so that we can bring hope in the name of Jesus Christ.